Good news. Apple finally made a model of iPhone without a notch. Hmm, but not really. Dynamic Island is now placed on the latest gen iPhone 14 Pro and iPhone 14 Pro Max models. Let's see what it does and how to use it. You're on the Jelvix channel, weekly videos on tech in five minutes. Don't forget to subscribe not to miss new videos. Here we go. So what is the Dynamic Island? Well, in simple words, it's a clever way to hide the front-facing camera and Face ID array while adding extra software functionality to a pill-shaped region of the display. Our designers at Jelvix are excited. So how can you interact with this island? A tap and a long press are two primary ways to interact with the Dynamic Island. The first one instantly opens the corresponding app for which Dynamic Island is displaying the status. The second one expands to reveal relevant controls for the app that Dynamic Island is displaying the status for. Okay, but how to use this feature? The first one is to control music while navigating. Start playing music and send it to the Dynamic Island by swiping up on the screen. After that, open any navigation app. Once the navigation starts, you'll find it easier to control the music by expanding the Dynamic Island by long pressing on it. Would you like to use it like that? Let us know in the comments. The second one is phone calls. This is the most basic yet useful feature of Dynamic Island. Whenever you're on a call and swipe up to minimize it, it'll go directly to Dynamic Island and sit there for the entire call duration. Just wow. AirPods battery indicator is the next. Dynamic Island will act as a battery indicator whenever you put AirPods in your ear or back in the case. You can also long press the island to see detailed information. Also, it simplifies FaceTime. You can do multiple things by long pressing on the island. Examples include muting the mic, changing the output audio source, or turning off the camera. The best part is that you can also share your screen and start share play from the expanded island. Also due to the dynamic island, you can conveniently use Twitter Spaces. Twitter Spaces is a fun and new way of interacting live on Twitter. And the best part is that it's well supported by Dynamic Island. You can minimize Twitter while listening to a space, and it'll sit on top of the island displaying a cute animated waveform whenever someone speaks. What's even more impressive is that you can record lectures and take notes easily. Start recording in voice memos and send it to the Dynamic Island by swiping up on the screen. After that, just open the Notes tab and start jotting down. And when you're done recording your lectures, long press the island to expand it and press the stop button. By the way, would you like to know the difference between product and project managers? Then read our fresh article by the link under the video. We at Jelvix see the following benefits of Dynamic Island for users. First, it gives better visibility of ongoing activities and alerts. Dynamic Island introduces a new layer to the UI that helps users get timely updates without switching the context. Secondly, Dynamic Island offers excellent motion language. Apple's collection of transitions during the iPhone 14 Pro presentation was splendid. It's one of the best motion languages created recently, and it has an opportunity to make an exceptional impression on first-time users. And the last one is more screen space. In the full screen mode, there's always an area of the screen hidden behind the notch. It's impossible to avoid this behavior because the notch is a physical constraint. Overall, Dynamic Island is the impressive integration of software and hardware that Apple is known for. And the ability of third-party developers to tap into its potential means we can expect new and unexpected features to come out of it. So what do you think about the new iPhone feature? Drop your comment. This video was prepared by the Jelvix team. We help top brands worldwide to innovate and accelerate digital transformation. We share the latest news about tech trends and innovations. So make sure to subscribe not to miss a single video. We post weekly. Also, share which topics we need to cover next on our channel. And don't forget to press the bell button. Bye for now.